There is no money, Cuba fears total collapse amid grid failure and financial crisis. This post received a score of 17,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. As a Canadian who has been to Cuba many times in the last 15 years, during my most recent visit, just three weeks ago, I was stunned by the now commonplace blackouts and general dilapidation of the entire country compared to previous visits. Anyone with marketable skills is trying to get out. It is heartbreaking. Cuba can be fixed. 1. End a centrally planned economy, China and Vietnam did it, and it worked out pretty good. 2. Normalize relations with the US. This means reforms and making real concessions. 3. Allow foreign investment with a legal framework that ensures the government won't seize or nationalize the assets. Greater than legal framework that ensures the government won't seize or nationalize the assets. This guy doesn't third world. Legal framework doesn't mean shit in the third world. Source. I'm from South America. It's not impossible though. Chile and Uruguay successfully got better institutions. Home Chile. Home Chile. Cuban Chile. Chile Cubans. Cuba's population is actually declining at insane speeds due to how high emigration is. Some sources say they've dropped by almost 20% down to 8.5 million people while others say it's about 10% and is just below 10 million. Either way that's a massive loss for any country. Plus the fact that most of the people leaving are of the young and relatively healthy population. And intellectuals, I assume. So that is a problem when you don't have essential people. Those left ages ago. 1960s in when my then 22 years old in-laws left. They arrived in USW $50 in a shoe and their uni of Havana degrees, now are millionaires. Their daughters are an MD and banking executive. Cuba should ask its allies, Russia and Venezuela, for help. And China. In an ideal world we would normalize relations with Cuba and get the Chinese spy gear out of our backyard but I doubt that is anywhere on the near-term cards. We certainly could be better trade partners with Cuba than China is. Cuba sent people to China and asked for help and China apparently said, you should try capitalism and a free market like we did. I mean, China did send some aid. They just, again, voiced their displeasure at Cuba insisting on a vertical economy and suggested a less centrally planned one might be less prone to collapsing. Interesting. Can you point me where I can find more info on this? I find this really interesting. Financial Times article, Behind Paywall. Havana Times summary of the matter, no paywall. TLDR, China does some investment, but with Cuba increasingly unable to pay off debt has been scaling back their economic connections. They still want to publicly support Cuba as a fellow communist nation, but have been critical of how the Cuban government runs things behind closed doors. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.